Hey my sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'll be doing an after dark clean with me. So as you can see it's about 924 at night for me and this is about the time when I normally am able to start cleaning through the week. Alyssa and Dylan will go to bed around 830 and then Christopher will go to bed around 930 since he's older. In our household it's usually busier in the evening time because the kids get home from school about the same time Chris gets home from work. So not only am I trying to take care of the kids while drinking my afternoon coffee with Chris, I'm also then trying to finish up for the day since everyone is home. But sometimes I'm not able to pick up the entire house throughout the day, which is why you see a bit of a mess here and there. So if y'all are ready to tackle this mess with me, let's get started. Once my kids end up going to bed for the night, I usually start in their bathroom to clean up because when they have their friends over and they're constantly playing, they're usually in and out of this bathroom from washing hands, using the toilet, and then showering later at night to get ready for bed. So their bathroom is the first area I want to have clean, refilled, dirt and germ free ready for the next day. So as I'm removing their empty shampoo and conditioner bottles, I wanted to go ahead and wipe down and sanitize underneath those areas. That's where the most dirt will accumulate after my kids shower, after the water has dried up in those corners. For the kids toilet I'm just doing a simple wipe down of the main areas with a Lysol disinfectant wipe of where they've touched. I'll normally clean the entire toilet but I do that twice a week in their bathroom but usually during the week because it's so busy I'll give it a quick wipe down. This hard water stain in the toilet has been an issue trying to take off unless I use the Lime Away bottle that I've shown you guys once before. However, I try to stay away from that because the smell of it is too strong for me and when it's used in the toilet you can really smell it. It's really not good to breathe in but I did receive my new all natural plant based cleaner for this toilet so I'll be trying it tonight and hopefully it works. I'll be sure to share it uh, my before and after on Instagram.
If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Mrs. Jessica Savage because I share daily IG stories on my Instagram along with everything else that I can think of while being a stay-at-home mom. We have the farm life, our lifestyle, cleaning motivation, DIYs, makeovers, organization, and everything else that I do on my YouTube channel. Or if I forget to load it up there, I will share it on my Instagram stories. So again, if you're not already, follow me there at Mrs. Jessica Savage. Next, I'll start to work on the laundry that was left over from the day before. But I'll also start another load of laundry at night just to help with cleaning the kids' clothes that they left on the bathroom floor and to condense other piles in our household. Whether it would be from our bathroom or from the kids' baskets, I figured the more laundry you do, the better that you'll be at not getting behind. After folding the laundry and getting a bit of the clothes put away, I'll then go ahead and get myself set up to start cleaning in my kitchen. What I like to do before I start cleaning is to set up my diffuser every evening with a couple of my essential oils to help me with my mental health and to get me in the groove for cleaning. These also help me with uh, clearing the air and to give my kitchen a fresh new scent than smelling the dinner I had cooked tonight for the family. I'll be using a lavender scent to have a calm, soothing clean and a scent called Relax that allows you to unwind, de-stress, and have a calming moment while you clean. The essential oils that I'm using are called aromatherapy that I actually found at the checkout line in TJ Maxx. I was running low so I decided to buy a little box of these until my new essential oils came in from Young Living, which it did this week along with the new Aria diffuser. So I am so excited and I cannot wait to show you guys the new setup. Now that everything is all set up, I can get started on putting everything away, washing and cleaning up this kitchen because from what y'all have seen, it's definitely looking like a hot mess. <laughs> the kitchen will take the longest for me to clean in my household just because of the amount of dishes that are already piled up in the sink, the dishwasher and on our kitchen rack. Kitchen duties are a never ending chore, especially when you need to wash them, just like doing loads of laundry being a never ending cycle. You won't have to worry about having nothing to do because there will always be dishes and laundry waiting for you.
After all of the dishes have been washed, dried, and put away, I'll go ahead and drain the liquid from our Instapot into the sink. This will be the last thing I wash because of all of the oils it has in it. I don't want to try to pour this into the sink full of dishes, and with how big it is, I definitely need all the room to wash it. However, this Instapot is used on a daily basis, you guys. Do any of you have an Instapot? Well, let me tell you, once you get an Instapot, you'll never use anything else again. This is by far the best thing I've used to cook a lot of our meals with and to prepare any meats less than 30 minutes. We cook a lot of our meats on the pressure cooker option it has because you can easily shred the meats and give it a evenly good seasoning. So if y'all are needing a new cooker and to use less dishes in your home, this Instapot is a must have. Lastly, in my kitchen, I'll give all my appliances a good wipe down because it's the most touched in our kitchen. We have fingerprints, slobber from our dog, <laughs> food stains, our skin, dirt marks, you name it. If you touch it, it will be there and all of it will come off onto that. So you definitely would want to give those huge appliances a good wipe down. That way they're clean and ready for your clean hands to touch it for the first time in the morning of the day when you get your morning coffee.
All right, we're on the last load for tonight and then I'll be working on tidying up the living room. If you're wondering, that's our dog Beast who's relaxing below me and he loves to curl up against our couch while Chris and I are out there. However, if he does get up, that means he heard something outside and he has to go inspect it. He's our very special guardian dog for our farm animals. He's a Pyrenees American Bulldog mix. Chris went ahead and stepped in to help me with the rest of the clothes because it was already getting too late and he wanted me to go get ready for bed with him. So he was helping me to cut my time a little bit so that cleaning up the living room will just take a few minutes. That's it for tonight you guys. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this After Dark Clean with me. I hope it gave you the motivation and inspiration that you needed. We had so much to do but we got it all done and look how clean it is now. Please give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Make sure to subscribe to our channel because we'd love to have you be a part of our YouTube family. And then if you haven't already, be sure to head over to my Instagram, Mrs. Jessica Savage. We share daily IG stories, our lifestyle, the farm life, and so much more and we'd love for you to be be a part of it. Oh yes, here's the time for when I actually got done with cleaning those areas and doing the laundry. Whoever tells you that cleaning is easy? It's not. It's a lot of work to keep something clean for more than an hour, especially with kids. So if you clean it at night, you're more than likely to have it clean for more than just one hour. <laughs> again, thank you so much for watching. So I guess I will see you again right back here with a brand new video. Bye you guys.